In the adult critical care setting, simple hygienic routines often become a low priority to healthcare providers. Oral care is one hygienic routine that is standard in the intensive care unit. Many patients in the adult intensive care unit require oral intubation and mechanical ventilation to sustain life. Unfortunately, being orally intubated places patients at risk for ventilator-associated pneumonia. Ventilator-associated pneumonia continues to be the leading cause of morbidity and mortality in mechanically ventilated patients. Ventilator-associated pneumonia is overall the number one healthcare-acquired infection in the intensive care units. It is the number two overall healthcare-acquired infection in the United States of America. Current literature indicates a decrease in ventilator-associated pneumonia when chlorhexidine is administered to mechanically ventilated patients on a scheduled basis. There is a lack of evidence on the effect of any of the other products that are being used interchangeably or even more often than chlorhexidine. One pre-intervention, post-intervention observational study revealed cost analysis related to implementation of a simple oral care protocol. Total cost of the oral care protocol was $2,187.49. During the time the oral care protocol was implemented, there were 14 less cases of ventilator-associated pneumonia, which saved $140,000 to $560,000 U.S. dollars. Currently, critical care nurses in adult intensive care units at the University of Missouri Hospital use various products when implementing oral care to patients orally intubated on the mechanical ventilator. The University of Missouri Hospital should include oral care standards in the management protocol. This protocol will include an automatic order on every orally intubated, mechanically ventilated patient's profile. The electronic task list of the nurse will prompt nurses to document oral care with specialized kits in between the administration of chlorhexidine every four hours. The electronic medication record will require nurses to scan chlorhexidine and document as an administered medication every 12 hours. The outcomes of this preferred intervention will help healthcare providers at the University of Missouri Hospital implement the best practice oral care to critically ill adults. By administration of chlorhexidine every 12 hours, healthcare providers will potentially reduce the incidence of ventilator associated pneumonia. By adding oral care and automatic orders for chlorhexidine to the ventilator management protocol, Nurses will have a universal standard of oral care for all patients.